Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So if you clicked on this video, chances are it's because you are interested in the DinoJet Power Vision 4. That is right, Power Vision 4. So if you're familiar with any of the current DinoJet products, um, you know they have the old school DinoJet, um, typically the one people run mounted to their bikes. Um, I'll drop a picture of it. And you also got the DinoJet Power Vision 3, which is a slightly smaller unit. I'll drop a picture of it. And now they got the Power Vision 4, which starts it off right away. Why did I go with the Power Vision 4 over the other Power Visions? Number one, price. Um, the older Power Visions come in, you know, anywhere between $700 to $1,000. And the DinoJet Power Vision 3 coming in right around like the $500 range. The Power Vision 4 is coming in like right around $300. As well as, as Power Vision 4 is going to be good because it is smartphone friendly. Unlike the other two Power Visions um, where you pretty much have to download your tunes off the device itself or the internet. And... Uh, one of the reasons why I don't kind of like that is because the tunes can kind of get, uh, I don't want to say outdated, but DinoJet, unlike any good company, is going to continuously work to improve their tunes. So if you can't just get them straight from the web, um, you know, readily available, and you have to, you know, plug it into your computer and yada, 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 chances are you're not going to get the latest, greatest tune. Whereas the PowerVision 4 here, um, Every time you plug it in and stuff, you can see the tune and the revision number. Uh, so that way you can make sure that you have the latest tune for your bike. So this is obviously for my 21 Road Glide. So if you unbox it, you get a little uh, information card with a QR code on the back. That's going to take you to the App Store, uh, whether you have an Apple phone or Android phone. To download the Power Vision 4 app, you're going to get the actual DinoJet Power Vision 4, which this, like the other uh, previous Power Visions, you could leave plugged into your bike um, all the time if you wanted real live data. Unless I feel a need to have to look at the live data, I personally don't really care. And then you're going to get the adapter. To go from I believe it's this is a six prong adapter I believe that's from like 2014 and newer so pretty much this device itself will work for 14 and newer and then obviously this little ponytail that plugs in is going to work from 21 and newer it's real simple you just plug it in and then we'll just go ahead we'll have to take our saddle bag off side cover off on the left side, clutch side of the bike, plug this in, and then uh, it's just via Bluetooth to your smartphone, and then you can read the bike. It will save your stock tune, like most other tuners, so that way if you ever run into a problem, or you get rid of the bike and you want to return it to stock, you can just flash that stock tune back onto your bike, and then you're golden. But it is worth noting that because this is a DinoJet tuner, if you still have a factory warranty on the bike, once you flash your bike, it's gonna, anytime Harley plugs back into the computer, they can see that the computer was uh, essentially tampered with, um, which therefore would void uh, parts of your warranty. Now granted, there was that big old thing that came out from Harley and aftermarket products. So depending what breaks, they would have to say this is what caused it, which nine times out of 10, they're not gonna really go through that work uh, to narrow down the results. And obviously if something happens to, you know, the paint on your bike, they can't say the tuner caused your paint to bubble or chip off. So if I was you guys, which is kind of why I waited till now to do this to my bike. I just kind of rocked. I didn't really didn't do any performance mods to my bike. Um, other than, you know, the exhaust. Which Harley took care of that when I bought the bike. 
so it was within Harley's whatever you want to call it parameters or what they would expect so if I did have a warranty claim um, you know they couldn't void it but other than that I just rocked with the bike for two years to make sure the bike was running solid and that I didn't have any issues with the bike and now that my factory warranty is expired it expired back in March I decided to go with the dyno jet and the other reason why I chose the power vision 4 and not the other uh, power visions um, simply like I was telling you earlier one cost this is by far the cheapest Two, um, the accessibility just being able to flash my bike via my smartphone I'm 28 you know I I live off the phones and the technology so I love having this you know right at the fingertips of my own cell phone being able to flash it and see the live data and etc etc but three doesn't matter what DinoJet Power Vision you buy once you get that license it is attached to your VIN number so essentially and I did talk to DinoJet about this um, say you're like me and literally only have an intake header and exhaust right stage one all day if you go by the stage system this Power Vision 4 is going to give you a tune that's better than the Harley tune right going to be better way better than a screaming eagle tune because it's not following the you know the three letter word compliance um i'm not going to say it because i don't want to get demonetized because sometimes they get weird with stuff like that um so you're already going to get a nicer tune this allows you to tune your bike better right out the gate for a cheaper cost um it's real simple because like i said you use your smartphone but say down the road you add cams well, because this DinoJet PowerVision 4 just came out, they're constantly working to update and improve the app, as well as add tunes for cams and whatnot. So if you do the work yourself at home, now you can start to flash your bike with, you know, your intake, exhaust, and a cam if you install one, which is obviously gonna get you to a place to where the bike won't be running too lean, to where obviously you would take it to a local shop and they would dyno tune it which leads me to my next thing so you can transfer uh, once you buy a dyno jet license like I was saying it's attached to your VIN number so if you would essentially do the work on this you flash it with your power vision 4 you take it to a tuner or a dyno tuner if they have like the old school dyno jet power vision 1 the big screen that I popped up a picture of earlier they can just transfer your license to their tuner tune it out and then you're you're good to go so you wouldn't have to essentially buy another tuner you can get in the entrance with this and then like I said they can just transfer your uh, license to their power vision do all the tuning that they need to do and then you're good and I believe the tune you would see on your phone from whatever they re-download into the bike. Um, so I thought that was pretty awesome because just having that flexibility of buying in at a lower cost, uh, you know, if you have a stage one to get you hit the ground running, um, you know, where you can do your early bolt-on mods and still get a better tune than a Harley tune and be able to do it in less than 10 minutes. And then also have that option later on down the road you know if your buddy has a power vision you can transfer the license do what you need to do um, I thought it was pretty awesome because that's just DinoJet standing behind their products and allowing you to intermingle their products also what is cool about this power vision 4 piggybacking off of that uh, you buy this say your friend just buys a newer bike and they want to tune their bike well you can just plug this in and they can buy a VIN license from DinoJet for I believe it's like $215, $230 and occasionally they'll uh, run a sale on that. Um, they just have to buy the license, download the app and you can flash their bike with the same tuner and that goes with all the other DinoJet tuners. Um, so that's pretty, pretty cool because they can save like $150, $200 if they would buy this one. Um, so they don't really have to buy the tuner themselves. You can, they can just borrow it and flash it for a lot cheaper. 
that's great for like bolt-on mods because you kind of just flash it and then you just forget about it you really don't need to go in and change parameters or anything unless uh, you obviously have an issue but enough of me blabbing let's uh, get my saddlebag off let's get the side cover off I'll get this plugged in and I'll show you a screen recording of me going into the app and uh, let's flash my 21 road glide also before we go plugging this in as of me recording this video it is July 4th 2023 at the tail end of last year when I changed my heavy breather out uh, you remember that video it came out in September that is when I bought this but I've been running this flash on my bike since September of 2022 I'm making this video later on because I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't run this product for several months thousands of miles uh, to be able to show you guys this product and have you guys spend your money on this if you're interested and be able to trust the product so like I said I've had this tune since September and uh, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Before I recorded this video, I went to check. They completely updated the PowerVision app from the last time that I used it, and they added a whole bunch of new tunes, and I see an option for big bore kits on there now. Um, so that just reassures you guys that this is their new toy that they are working on at DinoJet, and the fact that it is their new toy means that for years to come, they're going to keep working on making this product better and possibly phasing out the older uh, power visions. So keep that in mind as well um, because they obviously put the R&D into this product and they want this to be their you know head product going forward. So if you're kind of at that stage where you don't have a lot of motor work or something done, this might be a good product to look into. But let's get to it all right so over here at the bike I have my power vision 4 with the saddlebag and side cover removed you're gonna see two uh, plugs down here we're gonna want this red one you just take it wiggle it off sliding it left because as you can see there's a little track down there I don't know you probably can't see it um, it just slides on and then we have a dust cover push down on the tab and the dust cover just pops off obviously save that we're just going to take the power vision 4 plug it right in try to prop this up get the camera to capture the power vision 4 because obviously there's three little uh, areas for lights all right so I obviously got my keys to the bike sitting on my seat. Got the Power Vision 4 plugged in. I'm gonna go into my app here, Power Vision 4. And as you can see, it says Power Vision not connected. Plug the Power Vision device into your vehicle. Turn on your vehicle, press scan. So I'm gonna turn the bike to ignition. We're gonna press scan. It came up, Power Vision 4, click on it. And as you can see there, we got a firmware update. So just hit okay. Okay. See it's updating its stuff. All right, firmware has been updated. Please reconnect to the PV4 manually con to continue, continue and just hit scan again. We're going to click on the DinoJet again. All right. So as you can see, there's a data log, uh, no data for displaying. I don't even know what that does. This thing has a lot of features on it that I don't even know what it does yet. Um, obviously, when you download the app, you're going to have to create an account and such uh, diagnostic no data for displaying obviously because there's no, no lights or anything so we're gonna go to tunes but before I do that you can see all my bike information and you can see the last tune that is flashed so I'm gonna go to tunes now you can see my tunes up there um, both of those are stock tunes 
It's only listed twice because when I first flashed it back in September, October-ish, um, for whatever reason, I did it twice. So let me go search for a tune. So right here, it comes up filter, bike exhaust. I obviously have a full system exhaust from the header to the slip-ons, full system type. You got two and a one, two and a two. Um, obviously, my Vance and Hines power duels act like a two and a one, but however, at the end of the day, it still goes to two outlet uh, slip-ons, and both slip-ons are functional. So we're going to select two and a two. Air box, you have stock or high airflow. Obviously, we have the Elite Heavy Breather, so high airflow. Camshaft, um, you see they. Uh, have some options there as both Screaming Eagle cams. Um, so obviously I still have a stock cam. Select stock. Big bore, like I said. Um, that was never an option before. So that's something that they're obviously working on. So as time goes on, I would presume to see options there. Um, as well as the camshaft. The last time I tuned this, they had no options for cams. It was just stock, so obviously they're adding stuff. So big bore, let's just select stock. So again, full exhaust system, two and a two, high airflow, camshaft stock, big bore stock. So let's click filter. And it takes us to one available tune. Year 2021, family touring, engine 114 air cooled. Uh, strategy, I have no idea what that is. and. So the way this DinoJet PowerVision 4 works, um, they say if you have just an air cleaner, that's their, what they're calling stage one. Uh, slip-ons would be, slip-ons with a stock header under this app would be a stage two. Uh, stage three would be air, air cleaner, headers, and slip-ons. Um, and from what I was looking earlier, stage four would be all of that plus a cam, and stage five would be all of that plus uh, a big bore kit, which obviously they're still working on, but nonetheless, I digress. So we are sitting at their stage three right now. So I'm just gonna click that little cloud to download the tune. Now, obviously I accidentally bumped that stage two, but like I was explaining, um, we're going to just read the ECU the only reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to save that tune that I have in case I have an issue All right. So, back to that tune. As you can see here, 2021 Touring 114 air cooled. Like I was explaining earlier, uh, it's their stage three heavy breather. Uh, headers and slip-ons. It's a full two into two exhaust with a high flow intake. So we're gonna click flash tune. Uh, warning battery must be fully charged. Do not tamper with the vehicle during this process and follow all prompts accordingly. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so would I like to flash it? Yes, I have my bike plugged into a tender, so we're good there. Transferring the tune. And while that's doing that, you can see the DinoJet is working hard, doing its thing. Flash completed. Please turn off key for at least 10 seconds to reset the ECU. So we're going to do that now. All right. So that is all flashed. So like it said, turn the ignition off for 10 seconds. Um, 
and we are good to go. So that's all there is to it, guys. All right, so I waited over the 10 seconds, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fire the bike up, make sure everything's good. So everything seems good. No check engine lights or nothing. Back out, go back in the scan for my device. Click on my device. And then right there you can see last tune flashed and the last three are 403. So now that the tune's all flashed, obviously you're gonna wanna go out and ride the bike and uh, make sure everything's functioning fine. But it is up to you if you purchase the PowerVision 4 if you would want to leave it plugged in all the time um, to see some live data or be able to read uh, trouble codes. Actually, you know what? Let me try to show you real quick. I forgot all about it. So we can go to live. See, I never even did this before, so I don't even really know what you can do here. But we get a whole bunch of things here. I don't even know. Now let's do throttle position. Uh, guess graph. Wow, I, yeah, I'm not even messing with this because I don't even know what half of this crap is, but you guys can see what gauges you can add. Man, I don't even, engine temperature. No idea what this even means. Edit Fahrenheit update gauge. Yeah, uh wow this is pretty Yeah, I I didn't even know you could add a bunch of gauges. Like I said, I don't leave this plugged in. Um so I don't even really know how well you know this stuff works or not but uh wow well, engine run desired air to fuel let's see what that does let's do graph uh number of ticks i don't even know what that means I'm just gonna add gauge yeah i don't even know how to read half of this stuff to be honest with you but uh yeah i mean you can see here you can do a whole bunch of stuff. But nonetheless, like I just showed you right there, you can read live data and add a whole bunch of gauges um, as you'll see on my screen recording. I don't leave it hooked up because it was like $380. And like I said, as long as the bike's running fine, you know, yeah, it's useful to know, but sometimes I just try not to think about things. Obviously I would resort to that if I felt like I was having an issue with the bike but I don't, so I'm not gonna leave it plugged in. That's just my preference. Uh, you guys can do whatever you guys want, but I hope this video is a little bit insightful on the PowerVision 4 and kind of what it is capable of doing and that, like I said, it is a newer product, so this product will continue to get newer stuff, newer uh, advancements to where you guys could do more at home versus taking it somewhere. But like I said, any DinoJet license is transferable uh, to their different PowerVision products. So I think that is pretty cool that if you would get motor work done, you can pretty much step up to this and get, uh, get it dyno tuned if your tuner uses a PowerVision. I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's by far the cheapest and the newest. So it is worthwhile in my opinion, especially if you guys just got a new bike or whatnot and you do your stage one and that's where you're kind of happy at. This product can be an A plus um, for stuff like that. And then obviously you could do a lot more with it as time goes on. If you guys made it this far, make sure to smash that like button, comment if you have any questions uh, because I am human. I'm definitely forgot something to show you guys or whatnot. So if you have a question, drop it down below. I'll try to answer it to the best of my abilities 
Um, but if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, so that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this one. Make sure to ride safe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!